Watching superscom.com. I'm Carlos Reale. I'm here once again with Jonas from Catatonia. Thank you so much, man, for giving us a little bit of your time. We really appreciate no it. And Thank to you. have you back over here uh, talking to us. Uh, this time we'll bug you hopefully with a few different questions than what a year ago when we were talking over here. Uh, the same venue, actually. <laughs> it is, yes. Now it's just a little bit colder and we're just nicer inside over here with, with heat and everything. Yes. But you're back, basically. Um, <clears throat> you are doing another US Canada tour shorter one this time around 12 dates one in Canada uh, but it, mar it marks basically the third time touring the US in the last year yes alone which is amazing that you guys are back so yeah. um, this time around you know you're doing also another co-headlining tour yes. and you were talking to us a little bit uh, before we started the interview how's that one going can you explain the dynamic you guys are closing the show and how's the fan reaction this time around and and a third time in a year that's amazing yeah it's um uh, we were talking about it maybe we're a bit overplayed here but it's it's always very nice to come here and uh, as long as people come out Sorry. we'll be around you know uh, i think this tour package is really good it got a uh, nice dynamic in the bands uh, we got the swedish band cult of luna um, american intro out really very cool band and the uh, uh, British Tesseract. So I think the package is really nice. Got bits for everybody there, I think. And you know, like the audience keeps coming and you keep coming back, so it's a good kind of build up of a relationship, if Absolutely. you will, the band with this market, which is not an easy one. Exactly. I think uh, the difference from touring in Europe, in, in over here, you have to come over a lot and, and just show people that we're still around, yeah. we're loving you know to tour and play in Europe you can take a bit of a break and then just come back people will come out but I think over here there's more maybe more shows to go to and people need to know in, in advance that we're coming over stuff like that and going back to last tour you know when you did uh, the Epic Kings and Idols tour with Devin um, <clears throat> and Paradise Lost of course you were also doing the co-headlining but I think that since this date here in Denver last year, the band decided to let Devin headline the rest of the tour, except for New York, where you actually did headline. Yeah. What happened there? What was, what was that about? Um, I think we just figured it would be better if Devin closed the shows because he had more of a like stage show. Yeah. Uh, he's more of a closer, really. Uh, but we kept the same, we had the same set length. Uh, we did New York, which was nice, but um, we just matter of feeling comfortable doing it. Absolutely. Yeah. Right now, you're celebrating the 10th anniversary of Viva Emptiness. Yes. Right? One of my favorite albums, I have to say. I'm cool. sorry to be biased in here, but it yeah. is. I love it. Um, and the band decided to let David Castillo, right, do the remastering and just remixing yeah. of the album in the studio plus Travis Smith is going to enhance and continue the cover right now we have a, a much older from the young girl you went to a to an older female figure I don't yeah. know how old in the cover it would be uh, if it's been 10 years roughly yeah. teens <laughs> exactly I think uh, <clears throat> it's his daughter um, maybe oh, she okay. was something like four or five in the first picture so oh, she's wow. uh, like maybe 15 now then. There which is uh, we thought it was an excellent idea to to have uh, her again mm -hmm. you know what is the album going to consist of basically when we talk about remixing and remastering is, is it just that is there any reworked uh, tracks is there any re-recorded what, what's going on with the remaster what are you offering um, this version first of all it's remixed so uh, I would say the drum sound is much better because that's okay. what we weren't really happy with from the start with that album actually okay. Uh, it sounds more up to par with the last few albums we've done. Uh, we have also, um, we haven't re-recorded anything for it, but we have changed some of the like keyboard sounds to okay. more up-to-date versions, basically. Better sounding, like strings, whatever. Uh, there will be um, uh, one song that we recorded for the album, 
it's called Wait Outside. It's been released on a compilation before, but okay. uh, we thought it would, you know, close the circle well and, and to keep it on the album this time. There's some extra vocals uh, on the last song. Uh, bonus tracks? It's not a bonus track, but it's the last song is instrumental on, on okay. the original, but it wasn't intended to be. So back then when we did the album, we didn't have time to to do vocals on that song. So now we finally did it. How does it feel to go back and it, it, was it a, a, you know, an unfinished work or, you know, it was just uh, you appreciate the opportunity to going back and redoing something that you think it's worth it now or is it just a matter that you had to do it? <laughs> um, I think it's, um, it felt like a creative moment okay. to actually be able to go back open up the old files, see what what we were thinking back then, you know, and just try to add something to it uh, while, you know, just enhancing the whole album experience. Uh, we didn't want to re-record anything because it's, then it's a different thing, it's not a remix anymore, it's something else, but... So Keeping the integrity of... Exactly, of the, the album, album is the yeah. album already, but we just fixed it sound-wise, yeah. yeah. Also, if people have the album already, Mm -hmm. uh, I wouldn't say it's a must buy, but it's for them who would like to see what what it would be like, a little bit different, more up to date, uh, a little enhanced. And also to give probably newer fans a, a different treat as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. That works and it's also well. celebrating 10 years, so it's Absolutely. Uh, our birthday present to be Ventures. <laughs> Along with that release, you know, you're doing the upcoming UK tour, which is going to be the Tragic Illusion tour with Paradise Law celebrating their 25th anniversary as well. And you guys are going to be playing alongside with Lacuna Coil. Yeah. It's going to be four UK dates, and you're going to play Viva Emptiness in its entirety. Yes. For those four dates, uh, which is you know, really good treat for the fans, of course. Yeah. Now, any plans to continue with this Viva Emptiness concept beyond the UK tour? It is actually uh, extended to some more dates in mainland Europe, I believe. Mm -hmm. Uh, however, we haven't um, been planning at all to take it further. This is just something we, we had the invitation from, from PL mm -hmm. to be part of their anniversary. And uh, we really wanted to do that because they have been uh, very important to us as a band. And uh, it just uh, sort of came very good together with the release of the new version of Eventiness. So we thought let's just play uh, the whole album on these shows. So it's not, I don't think it's something we will bring over here, unfortunately. Um, unfortunately, I would love yeah. to see that. <laughs> I think a lot of people will, but it's yeah. It's a matter of timing and, and budgets and I don't know, of course, boring yeah. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Going along this remastering edition of Viva Emptiness, you also, of course, celebrating the reworked edition of Dead and Kings and you know you titled it Dethroned and Uncrowned yeah. and that one did come out uh, they come out this, this summer I believe um, for this release the band stated that they wanted to indulge in new creative experimentation correct yes. so how was this experimentation experience for you for the band for the people you know involved how was it what did you get out of it um I think uh, we all got a kick out of doing something different uh, first and foremost. I mean, just stripping it from the metal elements like the, the heavy drums and heavy guitars. It's, it was a bit, bit of a task really too, but I think we pulled it through pretty, pretty good. Uh, because it all started when we did the album and we realized that there's so many different layers, textures, beautiful stuff underneath the whole metal shroud, whatever. And so the idea came uh, already there early on. And once the album was released, we did some touring for it. And then we just said, like, let's just try it, you know. Um, so you saw like a secondary potential for the material you had written before? Or was it this yeah. something that it, this was the album that that type of experimentation I think fit so, yeah, yeah. into? I would say that. Okay. It's, I mean, it's not a... For us, it's not something that we want to 
sell, you know. I mean, uh, it was more for ourselves and, and the fans that might enjoy it. It's We're not expecting this album to be on, on the billboard or whatever. You know, it's an experiment. It's um, a cr it creative a, thing to do. Absolutely. Basically. Is it a preamble of things to come for Catatonia? I mean, in the sense that, do you think that any of this experimentation became part of Catatonia's identity or was it just side project and it's left there? I think it's left there. I mean, um, the music was already there and, mm -hmm. and we're not trying to change styles just because we did this. Uh, Catatonia will always be very broad and varied anyway. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, I don't think we will do an all acoustic album just because we did <laughs> this one. So. We will just keep on doing what we do, and this was a one-off thing. I think it's um, it's nice to just have it there. It's uh, yeah. some it's experimentation. Exactly. That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, that's, that's you, how you go forward. You got it out of the way, if you will, but you know, and you're, exactly, and you're yeah. satisfied with what you yeah. did, and the album, you know, it's received Definitely. in different ways and for different fans. Of course, they're going to have their own opinions. Oh yeah. Um, along with this, you. And this is more, of course, well, more now. It's completely directed towards you in the sense that you have the recent release of Wisdom of Crowds. Yeah. Right? With Bruce from The Pineapple Thief, of course. And I wanted to talk a little bit more, uh, well, a little bit, about how did that collaboration actually happen with Bruce? I mean, how did it come about? Well, wh who started the idea? How did it actually materialize? And ended up being, you know, a very successful solo project yeah. this far. Um, it actually all started when... Uh, me and Per, uh, guitars from Catatonia, we went to London to have um, um, play the Dead and Kings album to the press people over there and uh, we met up with our record label Case Scope and Peaceville, mm -hmm. the same, and they just handed me uh, a CD with some demo tracks from, from Bruce uh, that he had been writing with one of the guys working at Case Scope and they just said like listen to this and if you want to sing on it uh, you can do that because you know we, we think your voice will fit and Bruce is into the idea and I knew Bruce a little bit from before we'd been mailing back and forth uh, years back but I really like Pineapple Thief I like what he's doing and apparently he liked uh, Catatonia as well so and I just forgot about that CD for maybe another two months when I got back home and they started emailing me about it, and I was oh yeah, I, I have to listen to it. And I really like the songs. Um, so I got in touch with Bruce, and he sent me the rest of the songs, and I was just said, um, I'll listen to this a little bit more, and then i come over to, to England and sing. So I, I was not involved in any of the music or the lyrics. Uh, it's just... Uh, you were just singing? Yeah. Okay. Uh, but we have said, if, if there's... If we're gonna do it again, another wisdom of crowds, uh, I will probably be more involved. Me and Bruce just trying to come up with something. Well, and knowing the knowing you and Bruce, you guys are you know you always have a story behind what you do. You always have meaning, if you will. I mean, a positive way, of yeah, course. Yeah. So, out of personal curiosity, what is the idea behind the name of the project, Wisdom of Crowds? Uh, I'm not sure actually. Not sure. It was, uh, <laughs> I think it's Bruce's idea. It was Bruce's uh, idea. Yeah. And we didn't really, he was just presenting it as it's going to be called Wisdom of Crowds. Is there any plans to ever tour for this material or do a one off show? Uh, we, we're going to tour in December actually in Europe. Nice. Uh, we did one show already. In, okay. Uh, back uh, in uh, July, I believe, in, uh, in London. Okay. It was fun. It was shaky, but. You know, <laughs> being a bit nervous, uh, first gig with a new band, you know, but it... It, it has to out. feel different, right? Yeah, it has yeah, to feel weird to of totally like, different. what am I doing here with these yeah. people? <laughs> so After you had, you know, of course, Catatonia for... Wow. Exactly, it was so uh, different because I went to England like uh, a couple of days before the show, just rehearsed, uh, and we got two uh, other guys playing with us that I've never met before. Yeah. Then we went, did the show, and I was really like, nervous about it uh, it went fine but then the next day i flew to uh, finland and did the show with catatonia and it was so relaxing to do that just 
back into that 22-year-old yeah, yeah. history yeah, with yeah, the band, of yeah, course. Totally. But, but it's not the only band as well. I mean, of course, uh, and, and this is the one that I'm sure you get asked all the time, and there's Bloodbath. Yeah. And it's just so popular. It's, it's a huge... It I is. I mean, it's, it's, it's not even a side project anymore for a lot of people. It's just its own entity, if yeah, you yeah, will. Yeah. And it's very recognizable, very popular as well. And I know it's been a tumultuous couple of years. No singer, yes yeah, singer. We found mm. him. It's uh, famous. It's not famous. We're yeah. doing contractual, uh, you know, duties right now yeah. and all that. What's going on? Is it recorded? Uh, Is it coming out this fall? Because Anders was saying that it was going to come out the fall of 2013. Uh, what, what's? Give me an update. Give the fans, not me. Actually. Yeah, more the no, fans uh, an update on Bloodbath. We haven't recorded it yet. It's okay. it's all a matter of finding the time. I believe we have. Uh, like a loose schedule to to maybe okay. be able to do it in uh, to record it in January something like that. Okay. Um, so uh, I know what you mean. It's uh, it's become some kind of phenomenon. The whole bloodbath thing it is, is so I mean. <laughs> worshipped by a lot of people, and I mean it, it all started as a fun thing, and and for me it's still like it's just uh, I know people would want it to be like a. Yeah, full serious time full-time band, band yes. yeah and I wouldn't mind that if I didn't have the other bands but you know right now it's so busy with, with Catatonia especially and but you have a pretty good catalog and you have a pretty good history being, oh, yeah. being a project if you will so exactly you yeah, know, yeah, it's, yeah. it's a very uh, good even active with the last DVD and all that so yeah we try to to do something at least and another album is probably gonna take us a little bit further hopefully uh, more live shows as well mm -hmm. It would be nice to finally get over to the States to get here yes, and play like... Uh, over here it would probably be very successful. A lot, uh, of, yes, a lot yes. of the death metal audience yeah, yeah, over yeah. here, yeah. plenty of it. It would be interesting to see you know, yeah. that it's always here been a, yeah, in a tour. <laughs> yeah, it's always been a good scene for death metal here. So, <clears throat> so uh, the, f the singer has been found, at yeah, least. Yeah. But you still can't say who it is? No, it's... Uh, <laughs> As Anders said in uh, another interview the other day, it's like we want people to judge the singer and the music, the new music by itself, not just giving out the name and then people will have a lot of opinions already yeah. saying like, oh, that's wrong or wow, that's going to be super good. It's better to get it recorded, put up an audio sample and then just let, let people the, let the yeah, music be surprised the their own yeah, way, yeah, yeah. if you will. Okay. It's I mean it's just death metal. It's not opera or anything. But like I said, it has become a phenomenon. Like yeah, people yeah. are so after I know. what's going on, when yeah. it's coming out, who's the new singer, I and know. then you know Anders fueling the fire yeah. with is somebody famous, etc. And there's yeah. like, hey, all the speculation happening. But it's good. Hey, you know we'll wait for the good surprise. And regardless, like you said, I'm yeah. sure you guys are going to do a good job. Exactly. I and uh, <laughs> it's not going to be just somebody for the sake of throwing in a singer for sure no it's, it's regardless of whether they're famous or not it'll work out and yeah because hopefully. the music is what matters yeah and absolutely <laughs> no gossip it's just it's definitely i know but it's a good hype yeah. it's a good hype. it helps oh, the yeah. band oh, as yeah. well you can definitely you can't buy that type of advertisement exactly if you will. <laughs> yeah most of the material is finished written at um, least, uh, some of it is okay. uh, not all of it i believe but uh, we're gonna get on to it after the viva emptiness tour just okay. it's gonna be brutal what are the future plans for Gatatonia? another album I guess um, right away I would love to because awesome. I um, I feed off the success of Dead and Kings I, I think it's it's been such a nice like uh, touring cycle for it it's been really three uh, times in the US yeah. in a year I mean that's amazing Anything so far? Any ideas for next album, or just taking it easy, waiting um, for the right time? Uh, I have a few. You have a few ideas, but very loose. Okay. You know, a fan question, if you will, because I'm, I'm a big fan of the yeah. of the band. But <clears throat> is the last fair day gone night live? Three LP box it. You know, that's a very special one. Yeah. With the celebration, the 20th anniversary of the band in London. Yes. You recorded some of those shows that you did the celebration. Yeah. They came out on vinyl. Is that ever going to see the light of day on CD or DVD by any chance? Was it filmed? Is it uh, something that fans it, it can wait filmed, for, yes. hope for? Uh, it's been in the works for a long time. Okay. And it's been a lot of hassle around it. Uh, it. It will eventually come out, I think. 
uh, on CD, DVD. Uh, I'm Don't not get me sure wrong. about. Love the vinyl, of course, but yeah, know, yeah, of yeah. course, of different course formats. Wanna, yeah. Uh, so it, it will appear somehow. Good. Yeah. It's good to know. The fans are looking forward to that. Yeah, yeah. Me Very too. special shows, of course. Yeah, it was super special. And you had, you know, some special guests as well. And you know, it's, yeah, it's yeah. just going back. Very good set as well. You yeah. covered pretty much every release. So Absolutely. That, and you played the Last Fair Deal Gone Down in its entirety. Oh yeah. I believe in that show as well. So uh, something yeah. that the band. Uh, There's a lot yeah. of music in there. Yes, actually a lot <laughs> yeah. of music. So hey, we want to wish once again, uh, you know, Catatonia the best success. Thank you so much for letting us bug you with another questions a year no, later. It's a pleasure, pleasure to have you guys back over here. Thank you for coming to Denver. Thank you for taking care of your American fans, of course. Uh, overplayed or not, I don't think so. <laughs> I've been no. to all those shows. So no, yeah. Really appreciate it. So yeah. thank you so much, Jonas. Thank you. And the best of you and the band.